pleased to be joined by Coach Sizz, Rob Cross. We had a great game. Point. Braden Maye, who's 44 goals. Dodger, slasher, feeder, shooter. I mean, there's not much. For this game, taking in the sun, it's been a beautiful day so far as we get underway. Richmond coming into today as the number two seed, four and one in conference play. They only lost to St. Joe's toughest defensive teams. High point, meanwhile, they are all about the offense. They are a high risk, high reward, up tempo kind of team. Yeah, when's it showtime? It's always showtime if you're high point. And Richmond playing more of a control of the tempo. But as you can see right here, of a little up pick there, finds the guy inside, turn and rake. Took it to high point, and there you have it. A nice little fadeaway shot, if you will. We were just talking about the and one circuit a couple minutes ago. You tend to be pretty successful in limited other team scoring opportunities. Again, a long possession here for Richmond, looking to go up 2-0 early. Bluff the step down, try a quick shot and a save by Oberend, who has put together a very solid. In the tempo, and they're taking their time. You can see them here, they're setting everything up, being deliberate, getting the shot they want. Richmond ranked 18th in the country, the number two seed here. Oh, he Eight. hitches, it gets to the mill. Madonna. A beautiful feed. Well, he was frustrated last week. Two goals and an assist, but oh, nine his shots. Number right now, as you can see, he hitches, gets to the middle. And there's nothing much you can do as a goalie in that. Championship Saturday at 1 p.m. also here on ESPN+. Plus. This, of course, was the matchup in last year's A-10 championship game. As a quick dodge and a good save a by save. Big U, he smothers it on the line. And it's the final 25 for the Tawartan Award shortlist for the best player in collegiate men's lacrosse. You see High Point shutting O'Neill here, and they're getting their four-man rotation around the perimeter, forcing an outside shot. O'Neill, just a pure goal scorer, a finisher of the highest caliber. Madonna, meanwhile, hunting a first-quarter natural hat trick, and he fires it up top, and what a goal! The vision of Madonna, who has nothing spiders. Madonna with an absolute ear bullet here of a feed. He reminds me of Stephen Rafus from Syracuse, who uh, played in the PLL. Just body control. Hard to cover on the from X, as you see Van Overbeek right there, but you know, Richmond so poised defensively. They get they get their hand they get on your hands so quick. My oh that, that might beat. have been a goal. I think that went in. But hit the bottom up here. Good sit down defense by high point on O'Neal there. I mean he's a handful, he's a big fella. He goes hard. A big fella indeed. Again, O'Neal quick try at the near post goes wide and flow, which is what we saw earlier in the season between these two teams down in North Carolina. Now they're closing space. A bobble there, selling the out. Here. And again, the patience. A quick try oh. and a snipe and on the missile. And it's Lucas Olsen with his stick. And this is hard as a goaltender, especially when it's coming from the point, as you just see him unload it here. I'm sorry, it was stick side. Alberta. And one thing I've noticed here, Richmond, a lot of their goals are coming from the interior. And here they come again. They are relentless, and it's Dalton Young. Young's fallaway shot is saved save. by Overend, but it's turned away. Hunter and eight Smith, seconds baby. to run if you are the Richmond Spiders. Here they come. Can they beat the buzzer? A shot, a bouncer, and a good save, save by Overend as the horn sounds. Looking to get something going here. Jack Van Overback, number 13, will be the one to bring this in. Minnesota kid leads the conference and assists. Right. He and Braden Maye make quite the pair. Broken play here, see if High Point gets one. And they do. Some, it's Jack Sawyer, one of the most experienced players on this team in his redshirt senior you see year. See trying to find the, oh, you didn't see it here, but a few clicks back, he had a guy open inside, but the pass aired to him. Ground ball, little face. Two teams trying to force a matchup, earn a matchup with St. Joe's on Saturday for an NCAA tournament bid. I like the, the slide there from Richmond coming from the low stack and not the high stack. Here for both teams in the second. Yeah, high point looks much more settled in now, but again, Richmond is meat and potatoes strong, heavy on their uh, defensive presence Oh, and presence here comes here. Maya. He, he shakes his man and fires wide. It's deflected, which explains the yeah. letting it bounce. <laughs> yeah, I was like, are you gonna pick it up? <laughs> coming down to 15 ticks here in the shot clock for high point. It's Hines who gets a stick through the neck. He That's tries the bouncer and a beauty. Hines goes bouncer side of the bar. And that's a pretty finish to make it a two goal game. The, yeah, the surface here as you see him lean in, bang. Man, that is impossible for Vigu to save. I asked in turn to 2011. It both took a couple years to recruit and build a D1 program. And they have both been right there or thereabouts since that day. And a quick try out of the timeout and a quick goal on a beautiful low to high shot. And it's a one goal Let's game. Slow it down. Make it a half field game as you see High Point cash it in here. Looks like Bayou got a piece there. 
he just makes things happen, right? He is one yeah. of those dynamos where you give him the rock and good things happen. And that's a Badana's game right there, that draw dump as you see. Get that was a shot from Alpa, who is very, very rangy. He generates a He's lot of force on that shot, but a good save by Overend, who has found his footing here in the second. I agree, Nate. He shoots a heavy ball. See High Point stepping in here. Going for the tie, and they got it. I have found the key to beating Zach Vigue because they've got four goals in quick High succession. From the rope That's unit here. Shoots around his defender. Van Overbeek just being unselfish. And that's great. That that's that's a sign of a good team when you don't care who gets the credit, but everybody wants to be on the same page and be successful. Oh, Ayu, and off the drop. One-handed an lever pass. <laughs> extra pass. Aye, and a shovel shot goal to cap off a five-nothing run for High Point. Under pressure. This is so such a skill. Flips it to space. Hi, how are you? Low and away. Turn it. Hash down to 15 in this possession. Looking for an option. Up top. Fake the good step hitch. down try. Extra pass. Here it comes. Madonna shot off the Brings pipe. Brings it off the iron. Nice he has hit ball. the post now twice. Oh. And a turnover in front. Dang. An easy goal that they'll Johnny on the spot. And it's fives here at Garber Field. Ground ball it's first time. time. That baby's humming. But not in love with that decision. Putting a lot of pressure on your goal. Continue to carry pressure and try to find the next available guy to throw the Who will win the race to back it up with one second remaining. Great back and forth action both ways here. It was Tommy Stoll who carried that almost. If you take a look at the stats for the first half, it is a, they yeah. don't always wait for defense to get set up. If they think they can work a shooting angle, they'll take it. Yeah, and I, I've also seen Richmond do it. And I was kind of curious like how they were going to play that today, but it, it looks like they're kind of like, you know, a little vanilla. And a oh. quick try and a an early strike as high point on top. A little back pedal shooting here. As he Good sweep, up. finds him. Waste no time putting the ball in the back of the net. As many as one, they've led 5-4 and now 6-5. And if you're winning faceoffs and you're a team that's going on runs, that's that much better quality of life for you. And they're getting downhill, oh. low angle try. And they're moving without the ball, they're cutting to space and they're fading out. You see Cook there, the last take, gets underneath, got away from it at the last second. But they are starting to penetrate the interior of this uh, Richmond defense. Step, Step out, down, out. try, bouncer, and what a save by Finn. Yeah, the fact that he has two helpers, he's still chipping in. That's still a factor. Young and Madonna both briefly below the goal line. Now they'll dish it up top. Shot and O'Neal. And that pass in front Madonna, Madonna might have gone through the crease. And it, here comes Maya, and he'll dish it off up top. Still plenty of time to work with. Dodging from the outside. A bouncing pass eventually corralled, and he's got a step. Here he comes, what and it goes save. off of... Zach Vigue's hand bounce pass all the way to X. 20 ticks. We'll see what they can work. Dalton Young on a shorty. Oh. And Dalton Young making him pay. Bouncer. We'll be approaching seven or eight crown balls, which for a goaltender, pretty impressive. Dan Shamati calls out the play. Oh, and here trail comes check. a beautiful shot and an even better. Just keeps it simple. And a turnover here, forced, and oh, look at the speed. Oh, look at the quick acceleration from Nugent. And Nugent carries all the way over. He's one of those shorties that we oh. talked about. Look at that finish from Nugent. A the attack to tie us at six. Richmond needed that one, boy. And comes back stride to the middle and just hammers it. One move quick to Bang. the inside. And again, another bouncer. There's, right? Yeah, extra and we're all income. tied up at six. We'll take a break now here at Garber Field. The sun has set behind the Mullen Center behind us. A beautiful day capped off by a scintillating game here. Still 15 plus minutes to come. We're all even up. We were tied at 0-0 oh, and 5-5. Five, five. And Sp that was ill-advised as Nick Murphy snipes it home. Kick it to the back side here. Takes a little something off it. Put a little English on her, near side high up the turf. Nice and shot. Tough for zero, we were tied at 5-5, five, five, and now tied at 6-6 six, six before High Point retook the lead. Richmond's last lead came at 4-3. Similar set, now they kick it back, this time to 23 again. Oh, oh baby. Oh, it goes off the underside of the pipe. And Trying to find some space on the far side to get something off. Madonna's creeping down if they can get it to him on the weak side, and now they will. Lance Madonna matched up with a shorty. He's got a step. Madonna with oh. a step. Lance Madonna, the two-time 8-10 mini of the year, showing why Great he has boys. the respect. Excellent slickness. Little stop and go. Near side high cheese here. Bang. It's now for Richmond with five to go. A little indecision. 
and not gonna, not gonna get one off. That was good awareness, by the way, by number nine in purple. Point the early years when I went, they were getting things underway. Chinoy wins his sixth faceoff of the game. He has struggled, but he wins a big one there. Oh, good and handle. a great hand by the pole, and it goes just wide. Boy, it's starting to mix in pepper in some shots here. That was Colin Cook on that try. And now it'll be the first and best look. Then Overbeck dodges away. Seven to go. Pass in front. Oh, Maie. oh my, Maie. He put the seven. Oh, my, Lanta. BTB fake. And he nice. stuffs it low. Great feed from Overbeck. BTB fake through the wickets. Unbelievable. Roll the highlight reel. And Braden Maie. And Maie gets goal picked up here. And the temperature has dropped as well at Garber Field. Need a little wind here. High point kicking it through X. Let's see if they can take a two goal lead for the first time today. They cannot. Neither quick firing oh, shot. High point. And a oh, race no. to the line is won by Richmond. Yeah, good thing too. Creo backs it up. And Creo, he's not shy. He'll test the waters from X, try to turn the corner as well. Creo denies the screen, gets the step, oh. and Gavin Creo fights it with a stick thrust to tie it back up at eight. He learned his lesson last time, taking one more step coming up. Buries it. That's a rolls this way and that. Now around the cage, he'll pass it off instead. Here's now Madonna. Madonna wants to go inside, gets the screen from Young. Extra pass, step down try. Bang. Oh boy, that's a leap for Richmond. Henry Alpa checking in. And this time, we talked about it from the same spot back in the second. He is a rangy, lengthy kind of guy, and the amount of power he can second. All you youngsters out there, that is textbook overhand. Just want to give yourself a cushion, not tiptoe the line, whether it be the midline or the box. Cause a turnover for your team. It comes up top to Maye, the leading scorer. What a move. Maye looks oh. through it. Oh, my. It's been silly. And you see him own the slide, open up. Put it behind his leg and absolutely. Little Yuck. swag drag. Back pedal. Oh, whoop. And he takes that extra half a second picked up by Olsen. That is a very good effort play to keep possession with the Spiders. I think this game matters to these guys. Holy cow. Get into Quick the middle. Try off the pipe, pipe and out. And it's loose in front. We've got bodies in the <laughs> crease. And yeah. And now Richmond can set something up if they want. They do have a timeout to burn, even if they can't get something here. Madonna drops it off. Up top, Olsen! Lucas Olsen makes twine to make it a 10-9 game. Calgary kid benefiting off some hard work. See it right here, steps into it. Hammer time, turn and break. He has put together, but two of them so far in the biggest one yet. Timing is heavy. Madonna turning on the Jets. He's still got gas in the tank. He shimmies his way through one. Madonna through two, getting slashed left and right. He's now tough. through a third. Oh boy, what a carry here by Madonna. He'll go for the oh. empty net, and that's gonna do it. A super stunner, a seven pointer. Four goals, three Special assists. Player. You just what? see him soaking checks. And sure, why not? The broadcast, Madonna showing you just that. Face off win for high point, looking to make it oh. a one goal game. Don't go anywhere. Will. Right off the face-off, my goodness. And now it's 11-10 on Richmond Richmond without a doubt, but that is a heck of a carry. And there's not much he can do about it. And we got time for another one, either way. And in, out of the box, oh. so five seconds, they'll fire it up. A chance to tie, ground ball loose, it's kicked away. Oh, what a game, what a game, what a game. What a day of lacrosse. Spectacular stuff, credit to all teams. A highlight day for a number of players. Buddy, and a great example of that right here coming up on Saturday. The Spiders have made the NCAA tournament five times, including four times.